So I fear I'd do a quick play. Let's do initiate for now. Talamne. So this is going to be kind of randomized a little bit. It's pretty much the same um, opening. So the thing for thinking about God, banished to their dimension. Yeah, we got Goizo, the mirror guy. Race of now, Race of Doom. Backstory, mythical history. Oh, delusion with the medical care. You know you will need to pay up. You start with extra experience with bandages, but each injury can cause an in. Bitch damage can cause injury shit. So, um, this character has high perception and, well, she has high knowledge, charisma, and perception. So, I discard this and get 20 experience. Yeah, she's like a yonder stalker. Let's see. I haven't played this character. See date three three. Items got scalpel. It's a knowledge weapon. Fair be dicks. Okay, well, it's minor energy. Let me check the scalpel again. Spells? Nope. I'm just going to discard this. Don't really see the point of keeping it. It's empty. Yeah, it still does that. Um. Got an empty bottle. Okay, let's change clothes. Get the money. It's got a regular outfit. No nurse. Tank top. Pop culture. Seems okay. Nurse outfit? Mm, I'm not really a fan of it. Nothing weird, I don't think I got apartment to mystery. Yep, same load, he still can't do it. Take a bath. Uh, warm water. Hmm. Start mystery. So I got five uh, mysteries. Uh, these pickle and more events have been playing your town for some time now. You mark down five of them, hoping to. There is something connecting them. You can tackle these five mysteries anywhere you want. Beware, your decision will haunt you and influence uh, yet yeah, unsolved mysteries. Uh, got contagious coma, morbid mermaids. Wait, oh, there's five five endings. Um, the festival, ramen. Oh, I haven't done this one. Huh. I want to do this one first. Okay, I know what that one is. Um, it's my bummy in the ass. Blade brief of beckoning Bet bulletin. As decades rolled on, technology has only developed further. These days, computer bulletin board software allow computers to communicate over phone lines. 
all it takes is a computer and modem and anybody can connect to a bulletin system or even host one of their own once you connect you can read all the messages on that bulletin and even post your own to start a conversation oh great Skynet may use them to share files or to chat about their favorite topics everything from video games ooh, to sports to adults culture but in the wake of a sudden string of weird suicides things aren't all fun and games Rumors have surfaced that the deaths are linked to a bulletin system already from shower within Shiokawa was behind, behind the suicides. How could so many people be driven to take their own lives? Kind of reminds me of um, uh, the Ring uh, Gang uh, Terrace Realm. That's what I'm thinking of. There, it's different because it's like a a video game or that you connect to and the guess seven days to live or something. This story is stupid as shit. Even if the rumor bulletin system phone number is found, there's no hope to investigate without a computer that can connect to it. Maybe the school library has one that will work. Investigate the forest location twice to complete this quiz. Hmm. I got six phones. Let's see if we can get an item. Here, hold on. There we go. Mm. Now nah, that would be helpful. So so would be flashlight. Get flashlight. Has Vescate's Force. Oh, it takes Fort Doom. Discover no campsite located on the edge of a small clearing. Tent has been knocked down, and the food and utensils have been scattered everywhere. Uh, search the ground for clues. Success. Footprints and tracks suggest a fight. The owner of the tent must be must have been dragged by the two unknown attackers into the woods. Saw the vent. Do one more investigation. Oh, I got that for Doom for uh, um, shopping. Shit. That's what it was. Found the gassy moo, you find yourself in a forest. The sound's getting closer. Ribcage woman. Um. See, I'm not a Dex character, I'm more of a capers. CC percent oh, that sucks. Forty. Yeah, I don't need no. So this is four, six. Oh, I missed my attack ship. And they're just crushing me with their nails. There, win. After searching deep in the woods for some time, he discovered the body of a young student clutching a note. Must find one of the suicide people. Uh, force note. I write this for everyone wanting to stay behind. Sacrifice is worth it. Last meaning comes from our relationships. Share death and that connection will outlast you. There won't be anything left but us. Everyone here is waiting for you, so if you lose your resolve, just listen to the voice of humanity. Oh, great. Ha, <laughs> flipsies. Mm. See, I have seven charisma. Um... Oh fuck you! Yeah. All right, what's yours? What you got? Ooh, more charisma. Okay, what you got? Ooh. Yeah, I could use some. Um, 
could use more of that. Uh, well, what do you guys say? Oh, Kari's reading the horror manga about spirals. They seem relaxed. I don't know when. Oh, manga. Leave. Okay, got some party members. Uh, yeah, biscuit school. Hearing your sound coming from behind the door, you decide to check it out. The first glance of the band classroom seems empty. Once you get your eyes you see the darkness, you just go around your little signal, draw on the floor, changing by smoke, someone put out the candles the moment you entered. Uh study writing on the blackboard. You cipher the cult instructions and let the forbidden knowledge fill your brain. Hope I get a good spell. Absorb. Absorb. Mm, I don't want to lose more reason. I'll hang on to it just in case. I was considering going chopping again. Seeing two chop off heads, you can't help but wonder who's been preparing your food for the past week. Hmm. Call please. Uh, the nearest come on. You tell the. I think that's like a police, uh, like little um, booth. Tell the officer about the gruesome discovery. The policeman is grateful and gives you a small reward for, before disappearing inside to make a call to funds. He's in on it. Oh, I haven't been reading these. I forgot. I have to read them uh, after I make the video. Finished. Uh, you lug the cover box full of PC parts up to your apartment stairs. Teeth clench as you heave it up one step at a time. God damn, our computer's heavy. No mm, ones, probably. Um, Kana, you're a bitch. Find an envelope lying on pillow in your bedroom. Inside is cash and note for from someone who's been watching you. They wish you luck in your task and promise to meet you soon. Just hide this envelope in your bedroom. Yeah, that's creepy. You have to sweat, sweat from your brow as you finish setting up the computer in your bedroom. After a few tests, you're now certain that everything's functional. The newscaster on TV says that the suicide rate is still climbing. Worse, the morbid trend is beginning to catch on in other nearby towns. You need to act quickly. Oh, shit. I hate this one. Um, do I need more funds? Because he's going to take my experience. Hey, let him come up with his own shit. So I dream you're a genius. He shouts, grab a pencil. Excuse me, I got this out of the right. You roll your eyes and prepare to leave. <laughs> I don't know if he's being sarcastic. Now you shout, who knows. Oh, and final lead, you're... Now yeah, he's probably incompetent. Incompetent. Ugh. Oh, and final lead, you head to the hospital with how many deaths there have been. The hospital's in chaos. The staff looks exhausted. When the receptionist lets you head down onto the desk for a minute, you slip out from the waiting room and into the hospital corridors. Someone has been branding the patients with occult symbols. Seem the worse. Branded like cattle. Or they burn. Oh, yeah, I heard that one. You heard two nurses talking about a girl whose suicide attempt failed. Apparently, she's recovering at her grandparents' home at the village in the city outskirts. You exit the hospital and make your way to the nearby nearest bus stop. Okay, I'm gonna click this because it's gonna annoy me. Mm. I guess one took damage, but I didn't get like an injury. God, I did. I think like I had like 21 hits, so that fight took like 
took like two hits, so I don't know. I guess there's like a chance of it happening. Oh. Let me check medical history. Now whatever. Okay, so search this guy's flop with the flashlight. I know I got this on last video. Prayer beads. Faster spiritual actions. Okay, I don't have anything. Let's see. With, with beads, they fill you with hope. As you pull into the village bus stop, a new story comes on the bus driver's radio. An entire class of Shilkawa students leapt in front of a train hand in hand. You move urgently as you exit the bus and begin searching down the village streets. Oh yeah, I have the beads. Set in the middle of the field, frozen terror. A rip in our reality shows the horrible feature of our planet. Seeing the familiar figure looking back at you, you can't help but wonder if it's just our world. If it's, a, if it's our world, that's just an illusion. Uh, enter the portal. You and the figure get closer to the portal. Are you ready to swap places? Where are you? Lost in time and space, you drift in nothingness until something pulls you towards the lot. Deserted temples overlook the giant corpses of the forgotten beasts. With no priests uh, to harvest it, their blood is slowly flooding the valley. Fill an empty bottle with blood. What's that smell? Fill a container with the sacred blood, bring it back to reality. It's surely a corruption of all rots and won't, won't do you any good. Not great. Drink the blood. Oh boy. Filled with boiling blood. Oh. I'm not drinking it. When you find the girl's house, her grandparents greet you solemnly. They thank you for your effort to stop the deaths. Forgive her, her grandfather uh, says as he leads you to her bedroom. She's a kind girl. Something has happened to her. Stumbled upon a forgotten bookstore in Small Valley Alley. The interior is covered with dusty old tombs, animal bones, weird vials, and stuffed exotic animals you don't even recognize. Can I help you? Ask a tiny man behind the counter. I have things that will surely help you in your quest. Uh. Yeah, I don't have a Yakuza card. Uh, I think that's like a perk for the Yakuza. Ah, uh, buy a magic item. The tiny man hands you a package. I'm sure you'll make good use of this. I never got that one. I don't know what the sh... <laughs> okay, that'll be helpful. Could be your last hope to make it through. <sighs> also screw me. I won't store you for now. The recovering girl is more than happy to not only confirm the Bolton's existence, but to give you its number. You have to do what it tells you. Trust me, you won't regret a thing. She beams at you as her grandmother struggles to make her swallow the pain medication. I'll be back to join you all soon. Wait for me, okay? Disquieted, you give the grandparents your phone number and hastily leave. Try to lose the masked man that's been following you the whole morning. You eventually find yourself in a dead end. Looking for a way out, you hear a branch snapping behind you. Cult delinquent. Mm. Oh, it's 60% this time. Think of what I can. I chance with ten. Missed. Let's touch you my dagger. 
Oh, I'm... I wish you'd tell me how much damage he does, like, right during the log. I can just take my health, but still. Oh, yeah, it does one. What am I thinking? Shit. Ugh. Yeah, resting's even worse. Broken... Oh, she I missed both times. Yeah, I don't give a shit about spells. <laughs> she just saved it. But whatever. Since you arrive home, you dot the number and put the inset onto the modem. Our pounds as the computer fans exhale. It's just, uh, the system hums. You hear a brief dial tone and then it finally connects. I don't know if I want to heal my stuff because I don't really need the like rest. So I'm just gonna hang on to it. Best gate computer. Welcome home. Do you like it? No. It's okay. You don't have to be ready yet. Everyone will wait for you. Continue. Disconnected. Your connection suddenly cuts off. When you attempt to reconnect, you find that your number has been blocked from accessing the bulletin. Dejected, you suddenly back, back up the computer and give it back. However, when you arrive back at the computer club, you find a note on the door. See you all soon. You soon learned that all the members leapt in front of a train, holding hands with no other choice. You sail off the computer, the guilt weighing on you all the while. Shit. You find the bulletin's number in the phone book, but when you arrive at the address, you find the place empty. The bulletin was moved. Out of desperation, the police began confiscating modems and bending students from computers. Despite this, the suicides only seem to grow faster. They spread even further beyond Shell Call 2. Your guts twist and hit to knots every time you pass by the computer club's door. Now, I got anything to see. Let's see what the riots. Ah, shit. Let's level up. Art knowledge. One perception. Quick thinking. Mm. I don't know if I want the perception or. Guess I'll up the luck. I don't know what my luck is. Uh, knowledge. Yeah. You just check everything. Okay. Find small keys. Watch 
TV. We were shocked after what she did. Her voice was always so calm. Yeah, she had taken over. Um. I don't think what I should do next. I did ramen on it um, like three, I want to say three or four times already. Can I want to see if I can get um, items for this? Let's see, rancid ramen. Discard two item cards and complete this quest. Um, oh shit, I can't discard this. Shit. Yeah. I doubt I'm going to discard them. Mom jumps out from. Oh, she's covering gore. Between soft, she tries to explain what happened. She's taking a shower when suddenly the shower head started spraying blood. A trail of blood leads to, into the dark apartment. Check the bathroom. Uh, you don't enter the bathroom. Instead, you go straight to the building's boiler room. One pop coming from the ground. Looks like it was welded to the central system recently. Where does it lead? You see the restaurant? Uh, for the staircase window, you watch the door for hours, but never seeing the cooks enter or leave. You stop by home to pick up your lunch. You find a pile of letters in your mailbox. Check them later. You place the letters on the kitchen table. Feel anxiety attack coming on. Oh, great. Pills. Mmm. So now you got really cold in the corridor as you turn to leave. You're stopped by a man with unnaturally pale skin and giant lips. He kisses the air and takes a step closer. Uh, and there, got this guy. I'm getting some new shit. I like it. Okay, 75% chance. There you go. Okay, save. Launch sequence. Okay, that's useless. I need to start to like leaving, uh, running away from fights. Cause I didn't do that in the last episode and I almost got killed. Alarmed by the sound of glass breaking, you discover the corpse of a policeman lying in the pool of blood. It looks like someone or something tore out his throat. I still his gun. I never use a gun in this game. You won't be needing it for sure, but you still feel bad for stealing from a corpse. It's survival! Service revolver. New Mambu N60 designed in the 60s. It's not exactly new, is it? Oh, I only have one gun. I mean, one bullet. Sucks. Mmm. 
Should I keep it? I mean... <laughs> oh, that's illegal. I'm just gonna use it for like one fight. So I think this is the damage if I just hit them with the gun, not shoot it. Through the dirty restaurant window, you notice a shady looking man wearing a jacket covered in strange symbols. He stops in front of your front of the house, visibly nervous before he enters the house. He turns around as he's checking for it. any unwanted followers. What could it mean? Police. Ah, shit. You can't convince the police officer to take you seriously. By the time you manage to find the wheeling cop, the house is empty. Fine, you turn the order one room, please. The owner grins. Grin widens. Ooh. Walking through the park, you spot a girl standing in the bush. Staying closer, you suddenly realize she isn't standing in the bush. She's part of it. Stock Chon. Um. Well, almost done, so... Oh, that's a curse, not injury. Yeah, I don't have any more bullets. <laughs> Boo, you're dead. Wait, what's that? Branch. Magical. I'll hang on to it. You wouldn't know where to find buyer for it. <laughs> uh. this experts are baffled by some pairs of 20 stone statues lined up in a row in the middle of the ooh park you can cast one spell without paying anything solve this event cancels the effect I only have an absorb and that's not gonna be helpful. Yeah, I can't use it. Yeah, I'm just gonna get the partial ending. Experience. Let's see what we get. Store closed. Oh shit, the friendly dog is gone. Not a big deal. I already got uh, what I needed. Oh, oh yeah, it's the flashlight. Um, my home.
Ah, sh sh that's what I'm... Can't unequip it. Search for the missing person continues in the forest surrounding Shiokawa. If you have any information, please contact this police department. Okay, Dream Devourer. Try to get the bad ending for that one. Let's do Coma. Curious case, contagious coma. More and more people fall unconscious, cannot be awakened. People trying to wake the patients up, resulting in them, them falling into a coma themselves. I'm gonna try to get the bad ending. Oh, wing of the t town's hospital has been decayed for the comatose. Is there anything connecting these people, and how did this strange illness start? So, I think I'm just gonna ignore this one, this uh, side quest. Let's get to school. A trail going, growing code. It might be time for a different approach. Could a similar case have occurred in the past? A trip to the library might be a good idea. Stay issues of local newspapers? Yes. Near closing time, you stop on the curious article on the last page of the local newspaper. You copy the author's name along with the address before getting ready to leave. It's all event. Good. Can we just stop showing up? Because I can see the flashing blackness. Mmm. I don't know. Um. It's getting dark as you arrive at center and shadows move in. Fantastic and uncountable ways between the tombstones. Find the right grave may prove to be a challenge, especially when you feel someone's gaze on your back. Um. I think this is. I did this one the first time I uh, ever got this, Vin. It was like a priest. You roll around and see who's looking behind you. Luckily, the other person is a kind of lady who points you to the tombstone you were looking for. There's stone. You find notes. Someone left for you. Uh, let's sneak into the hospital and borrow patient zero's information. Find yourself in an old, unused part of the hospital. You take a deep breath. The disgusting smell of the thawed remains still. Lingers in the room. Thawed the remains still lingers in the room. It used to be a hospital's mortuary where doctors determined the cause of death. Check out the freezer? You take a peek into the freezer, but can't see anything important. You wonder what could smell so awful in there if there's nothing inside. Nearby the body of the section table, which is slightly prepared for combat. The door of countless autopsies stands before you. Jane Doe, the unsolved crime. Oh shit, this is a spirit. Okay, so I hate doing.
offer and sever. <laughs> that was easy. I was thinking of doing the battle clap, but I saw that and I just want to do it. They're just faster, one round. When the patient came home one morning covered in scars and babbling about aliens, the police had them committed. They're, they are mumbling something quietly as you pass by. Shit, don't get the paranoid, says. Talk to them. Charisma checks is this. You immediately understand that the only difference between you and the crazy person is that you haven't been caught yet. You convince them to sneak out and join you on your quest. Yeah, got another ally. Also too. Let go, gain two spells. Oh, you're a witch. Talk. Asato looks around. Do you hear the... Never mind. I got two mind drains. So when I forget these, I can gain more reason. Um... Talk to you. I'm talk to you. Tire smells faintly. Oh, you're boring. Did you hear the? Oh, yeah. This is like so close to uh, the let go. Walking through the park, you find a little girl crying alone in the playground. When you ask what's wrong, she says that she can't find her mommy. Luckily, you spot the girl's address on the backpack line nearby. Oh boy. Um. Let the police handle it. Try to tell the girl to wait for you while you look for an officer. When you get back, she's gone. Ah, shit. Shit, kids, don't listen. Man, devil magic. You found journals. This is crab in a certain village. Instructions for a summoning ritual. It seems they tried to contact a being from the dream realms. When you enter a metro car, you notice an ollie shaped package on the seat opposite you. It's marked with your name. You reach for a package but hesitate. And I see feelings sitting in your stomach. Sound the package. Ah, shit. It's not until you unwrap it that you understand what it is. Shock you let fall to the floor from your bloody hands. Shit. More reason lost. I don't, I don't want that. It's where I'll lose reason if I ignored it. Uh, you step upon a nurse trying to open a door to the intensive care unit, constantly mumbling something. When she turns around, your her face makes you scream in horror. Ah, she's ugly. That's the same. <laughs> Boom. There it is, a something you can find answer here. Manage to sneak through the floor, uh, avoid the police, and finally reach the quarantine wing where all the coma patients were brought in. Their pulse is slowly weakening and the blood pressure dropping. You must hurry. Escape. Complete silence at this place hits you when you reach one of the beds. All patients are dead. Check in, you sneak out from the hospital. One thing is certain though with no sick people, is the end of this weird illness. Cut off from outside world. Ah, oh, shit, I hate this one. Because I kind of like one watching the TV, so what's. But. 
So far hasn't really missed uh fucked with me. I still haven't done well doom after the first mystery. Mm. Still okay on injuries. Oh shit, I'm at ten reason. Character's insane. Haven't got shit for this one. Um, let's do mermaids. Got Marar and Morbid Mermaids. The janitor was obsessed with mermaids. He collected every. Uh, uh, scrap a legend about them in the school basement. Now his mind snapped. He decided that this time to make one of his own, using unfortunate students' bodies as materials. There's one thing everyone's at the school is talking about. Another girl from your area has gone missing. Could there be anything connecting all these the missing people? I should investigate downtown. Sun growl coming from a behind corner makes you stop. Mm. Twelve. Wait. Ninety-five. <sighs> Is it worth it? Cause I'll take three stamina. Anyway, it's fine. Ask around the neighborhood, you got you some results. Seems that the girls have attended the same school. <coughs> Risco Chan was the most promising athlete in the school when she suddenly disappeared. The case was quickly closed without any suspects. Today she has finally dug herself out. Oh, you're rock fucked up. Oh, I got 65. Five. Yo, I'll run away. Oh, shit, I didn't. I fucked up. Have a chance. I missed. Selling face and twitching lip stops you. I'll be your new body teacher. Could you help me move some stuff to my new office? Help her. Oh, the creepy substitute teacher hands you some old books to carry. Among the mundane titles, you can find one called Extinction of Mankind. You shuddered, feeling the teacher's gaze on your back. Saw the vent. Uh, first aid. Oh, yes, I'm getting that. I 
notebook containing handwritten and detailed notes about the swimming club itself and mermaids. Nazane stench. Stop you. Someone has scattered rotting fish guts everywhere and hung up countless fish heads. You cover your mouth as you slowly retreat. A fast flock of seagulls outside viciously attack the windows. Whoever the kidnap kidnapper may be, they seem to be really obsessed about mermaids. Inside the science lab, you find a plan of the town's sewer system. Someone has marked a path leading from the sea directly to the school building. Something's wrong. You don't see anyone on the street. You could have sworn it was crowded just a minute ago. You better hurry out of here. One reason. There's something wrong here. A weird apathy seems to infect every adult you ask for help. You will have to deal with it alone. The only metro line in your town connects the university and the science complex. You could take a ride to gain some time, but you got a feeling something is wrong. Where are all the people? Yeah, I think the Doom. Yeah, just one Doom. Well, your destination takes precious time. You compare the sewer plan with the school map and it suddenly dawns on you. School basement. That must be the place where the kidnapper is keeping the missing swimmers. Enter a school bathroom to wash your face with cold water. A sudden noise behind you stops you in your tracks. One stall door is open on its own. Skip the bathroom. You might be paranoid, but there's no way you're risking an encounter with a ghost there. I'll give you that toilet uh, paper guy. No, no, he's a boss. What am I thinking of? There's no turning back now. God, let's hope she is alright. Bust through the door to the janitorial closet, but it's already too late. The latest missing girl is lying on a dirty mattress, stuff apart at least. A tail of a fish has been cruelly soon in place of her legs. She's too weak and died, you hear the mad janitor say. He looks you up and down. Maybe you'll do. Prepare yourself. Stepping carefully over a corpse, the janitor picks up a, the bloody axe. Oh, it doesn't even have her face. Oh, yeah. Uh. See, twelve. Please don't know. So three turns. Oh, I'm gonna be fucked up. <sighs> Will this use up a turn though? Oh yeah, I've got a broken jaw, I forgot. <clears throat> yeah, I'm... This fight almost fucked me up. Mad Janitor's body slumps to the floor. He picked up his axe and, use, and using it as a crutch, you try to leave the room. Injured and weakened, you slowly lose consciousness on the school corridor. Police officers find you a few hours later. No trace of the mad janitor is found, but you, you will sleep a little better tonight, knowing that the other students are safe. Ah, shit, I got Indy Nay. Uh, oh, this is the one I hate the most. This so strength weapon is useless to me. I've got two funds for it. Heavy and powerful. 
Excellent melee weapon. Um. Yeah, I can't even, can't even do this. Um, I don't really need phones, so... Next one, I guess. Last one. Not a fan of this one. Yeah, base that Jeff too. Someone's waiting for you. I think it's like the, ma the aunt is um. Evil. I thought, where's my sock? Oh, I don't think I have a sock was. Oh shit, if I get found, fucked. Engine room is dusty, luck has been. Um. Looks a bit. Friends, something of into your friend dog. I need to move some stuff. Can you help? Minus three stamina of greed. Uh, no, I'll take. I, I'm low on health. Souvenirs. Oh, here's dog. By the, the hope. Where sound wakes you up, you step closer to the window, look out, you can't see anything, get ready to go back to bed when suddenly the moon comes from behind the thick clouds. Three hooded figures are standing at the forest's edge. One by one, they light their torches and disappear behind the trees. What's that about? Who are they? They wore a strange mask. Should you follow them into the forest or try to find more information around the fest about the festival? Um. Uh, Feeling hungry, enter a small local restaurant and order a daily special made with today's catch. Just where the hell did those fishermen go? No, you won't eat that. The smell of the dish almost makes you so sick, you run out of the ghastly restaurant. Special kind of with anti spirit effects. The trail to an abandoned Shito shrine is overgrown and steep. However, it could be an important place to investigate. Take the safe route. Taking the safe route crosses you time, but you get to the top without incident. Yeah, I don't want to take any more damage. Burnt out candle wax and dried blood around the shrine means a new sinister cult has claimed this location. Great. Our master is coming and we can all bask in his glory. Oh, he just costumes me doom. Pretty good on. Well, 
that's fine. <clears throat> Time for you to die, Harry Potter. <laughs> Today's go. Going back to the end, you overheard two masked villagers. They're talking about something awakening up at the next dawn. You know what's up with that? It's not safe here. No shit. Uh, you decided to block the entrance to your room with not stand festival is any tomorrow and you can't be too careful. When you walk through the crowded space, someone bumps into you and you quickly apologize. You realize what's happening. Uh, you realize your wall is missing, the thief is long gone ass, don't care. Unseasonal floods have closed many of the roads. Uh, I didn't get the map. Look for alternative way. We spent a lot of time looking for a safe path. Yep. Why is it quiet all of a sudden? Is that blood? Where is everybody? Find the missing people. Trail blood and sickly smelling sludge leads to an outskirt of the village. Somewhere in a dark forest, there's an answer waiting for you. Yeah, I want to risk a camp. The force years faint. Oh. In the forest, you hear a faint whimpering in the distance. When you find it, you discover a wild dog head by a hind leg. In a bear trap, the dog growls immensely when you get closer. I'm helping him. You free the dog, but the wrestling mechanism snaps and the trap closes on your hand. Hey, I don't care. Helping that dog. You have a feeling that you're being watched when. When you hear a branch snapping, you quickly turn around. There is someone standing in the trees, uh, just a few meters away. Start running. Oh wow, I'm surprised I, I passed a strength check. Make it to the edge of the wood, scared but safe. Okay, I can do this and then uh, stand them up. There, I'm good. Your reflection twists and shimmers when you're not looking at directly. Gozo is getting closer. Fuck. Oh, it's so subtle. Chance of losing stamina each time you lose reason. That's just great, cause I lose reason a lot in this uh, this run. A sudden storm forces you to find shelter in your nearby cave. Looking around, you discover strange markings on cave walls. I'm using my flashlight. Flashlight's beams fills additional symbols hidden in the shadows. Help you interpret interpret the spell instruction drawn on the cave walls. Uh, I forgot what this one does. Deals seven damage. Sunrise at Man Factory. This must be the place they took everyone. Sun is slowly rising as you get closer to the Man Industrial Building. Cautiously entering the factory, you can't help but notice the forest got totally silent. Too late. You are not the only one trying to stop the ritual and save your friends. Special forces have raided the occult hideout, arresting the suspects. Lived outside, the handcuff, uh, cuffed cult leader suddenly stops. You are too late, they say in a graspy voice. Our lord is free once more. Minus two stamina. Four outfit. Okay, I got ending B at least. That's good. Later that day, after interrogation, detectives let you go free. Festival guests are still missing to this day. You board the old bus, wondering what exactly happened out there. Okay, let's see what we got. Fitil fumes there's feels heavy, making it hard to breathe.
Ship. Got my final key. Okay, so go on to the next last one. Oh wait, I, I'm finished. Law House. Donald's Law House has closed down for longer than you can remember. It's your Law House. I made it inside the cursed lighthouse. Your gut's telling you two things that whoever or whatever is behind the weird events must be on the highest floor of this place that you should run as far as you can. You're afraid there won't be a way back once you start climbing these stairs. Let's rest up a bit. <sighs> yeah, this is. Uh, useless to me. Hopefully I don't die. Climb up the winding staircase, you're stopped by a masked man wearing his expensive suit. Rules have changed, kiddo, he says, taking the jacket and mask off. Nothing personal, really. Takashi-san, the ultimate opportunist. Twelve. Sixteen. Okay, so select title, mystery Vesca's second one. So I think it's Roman. Mm -hmm. Pink experience, kiss my ass. Find the one staircase you're stopped by darkness at the black clouds screwing your vision, and he's where something is waiting for you inside to light your way. Last horse seems somehow repel the darkness. Oh, I don't even need the. Just have an inventory. I'll need it like in a slot. That's good to know. Uh, you stop by a girl wearing dirty black school uniform. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go any further, she says, reaching for her back. It's too late anyway. You instinctively take a step back, and when you notice a knife in her hand, you have to think fast. I think, uh, hopefully our Christmas is good. Try to talk to her into allowing you to pass. It's too late anyway, she whispers again, letting you continue to the the delinquent girl nods sadly as you pass pass her. Find the winding staircase, you find a metal gate that blocks your way. The cables uh, that should be powering is covertly currently disconnected. The power box itself is covered in weird moist goo. Just inhaling, the fume makes you, your eyes twitch and water. But to power the gate, you need this disconnect of faulty plug. I'm going to take damage. Not enough for the strength check. Dark clouds swirl around this lighthouse. Did you arrive too late? No, I didn't. I won. As the unnatural fog slowly lifts, you are relieved and collapse on the floor. 
Next day, everything feels like a bad dream. You managed to stop the ritual, awakening the Eldritch Oak God, but what's done is done. It'll stir in the slumber again and again until the stars are right again. Congratulations, you're safe for now. Uh, not new events, seven new enemies, three new achievements. Check extra achievements. Uh, okay, map I'm Kumi Ala. Seal Bromo. I don't know what that does. Curse Cartridge. Hermit Ally. Innocent Student Outfit. Prize the Dog. Boop. Uh, endless Mode. Emmy Character. Extended A Car Pack. Extended B Car Pack. Pain Medication. Yeah, I don't think I lost... Yeah, I didn't lose the health ever so far. Just reason. Uh, medical history, backstory, hunted by a cult backstory. Locks 15 achievements. City history option. Maria Ella. Interesting. Yeah, there's like a bunch of enemies. It says AD. What the hell are these? these gods yet. Yeah, I haven't got... I only got generic survival. And then, uh... Santi. Under fifty events. Guess I'll end it. That was a enjoyable little run. Next time I'll do uh, the final option, which is uh, I can select my seed, and, and you'll see.